Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and welcome to just a little video I'm going to be making where I just do random stuff that needs to get done in regards to my computer equipment. So this will include upgrading the SSD and the Mac Pro. Uh, I'll also be removing some hard drives from external uh, enclosures and some other things among that. But I just want to warn you, this video can and will get... Can get... Wait... Did I say that right? I don't know. It may get quite boring depending on who you are, but yeah. So I figured, you know, all this stuff is not enough content to really make a video that's dedicated to it. So why not just incorporate it all into one video? So the first thing I'm going to be doing, like I said, was upgrade or is upgrading, upgrading the, actually no, wrong thing, upgrading the SSD in my Mac Pro. So. Of course, you can see here, this is the info, you can see right here, it's a 120 gig SSD from OWC and it only has about 30 gigs left, so yeah, roughly 90 used on it, so yeah, I'm going to be upgrading that. So if you remember from the last video, or not the last video, actually a few videos back, my dad gave me his old MacBook Pro. So, sorry about that harsh noise if, if it was harsh for you guys, but if you remember back to a previous video, like I said, my dad gave me his MacBook Pro, and I'm going to be stealing the hard drive out of that and throwing it in the Mac Pro, because I really have no use to this for this for the MacBook Pro. So I will continue filming with a better angle on the MacBook Pro. So here, of course, is the MacBook Pro, and I'm going to begin removing the screws. So, as really everyone knows by now, uh, screws up here are longer, blah, 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 simple MacBook Pro stuff. And if I could just get that screwdriver to fit into the screw, sorry if my hand is blocking the shot there. So, yep. It takes a long time, kind of tedious for filming, but yeah. So, as I addressed in the video where I first started talking about this system, this computer is my dad's and it was configured with a 512 gig SSD. Uh, so we got it that way from Apple. New battery I put in it as well. Uh, I have a few videos of this system on my channel. But he pretty much has about 400 gigs used up on this drive. <coughs> my backup drive only has roughly 800 gigs left in it. And my backup drive, that's being like my archive disk that I keep all my archives on. And so that disk only has about 800, 900 gigs left. It's a two terabyte green drive, by the way, in case you were wondering. And uh, yeah, so I don't really want to archive this. As much as I'd love to, I just don't have the space. Same with his backup drive. It's a one terabyte backup drive, and that's we're going to be removing the hard drive from that as well. Uh, that is pretty much full. So I'm not going to be archiving these. As much as I'd love to, I just don't have the space. And plus, my dad did a transfer thing from, his, from this computer over to his new one. So he pretty much has all the data that he needs. So it's kind of redundant to have that. It would be making an archive of, like, I guess making an archive of my Mac Pro, if that makes any sense. I'm sure you get what I'm saying. Like, it, it seems kind of redundant to back it up when he still has the information. It, it's hard to explain my thoughts on it, I guess. I'm not really doing a good job, but anyway. Um, yeah, 
So this MacBook Pro, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for. I may let my friend borrow it because he doesn't have a computer and I feel really bad for him because his MacBook Pro, or he, he, he has a MacBook Pro. It's a 13 inch from like 2007. The fan in it is like so annoying. There is a LAN party coming up, another one, and I may film some stuff from that, and uh, I'll eventually show you guys his system. Who knows, maybe I'll do a repair video on it eventually. So here is the SSD, and I forgot to remove the uh, Torx things there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and put them back in the MacBook Pro, and I will continue filming with a better angle on the Mac Pro. So, of course, we're inside the Mac Pro. Um, hold on. Let me grab the SSD. So, bay one right here. This has the OWC drive in it. And I don't have another adapter for three and a half or two and a half. So what I'm gonna do, or what I'm already doing, is I'm gonna pull out the optical drive tray. Pretty dusty, I should clean that off actually. Uh, pop in the SSD. Oh geez, that scared the hell out of me. Something just fell. Um, yeah, there you go, all set. I think this is working, but as you can see, screen recording, this is the uh, display one of the Mac Pro. So you can see, let me drag over my other volumes here. Uh, just ignore that, no, it's not really important. So I have these two drives up here, Macintosh HD and storage pool. Macintosh HD is the 120 gig and storage pool is my file server. And then I have another Macintosh HD that's on the bottom. Theoretically, that's my dad's unless OS X screwed something up. So you can see here, of course, 500 gig Macintosh HD and 120 gig Macintosh HD. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and erase the old Macintosh HD. Macintosh. Yeah, I'll just call it Macintosh HD, why not? So Macintosh HD there, and this is the 500 gig, so I will just erase that. And uh, say goodbye to the almost five years. Um, so yeah, mounts back on the desktop and all is well. So now I'm going to go into Spotlight and search Carbon Copy Cloner. Don't move to my Applications folder. I don't know why it does this, but it doesn't care about the trial. So uh, I'm just going to get rid of that. And I'm going to call this one uh, Clone. You don't really have to name them. I'm just going to name it. Why not? So you can see I have right here... Um, actually right here 500 gig macintosh hd and 120 gig so those are the two 120 is obviously in my current boot drive so i'm going to clone my source as the 120 and my destination as the 500 gig and just select clone and there you go so archiving and recovery hd volume blah 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 um yeah so Shouldn't take too long because it's over a serial ATA, but you can see it's actually going quite fast. I'm going to say it's going to take five minutes or less. So I will probably continue when um, something or when it's finished or when I go back to install the SSD in the Mac Pro, the new one. So here's the old SSD, of course. Uh, if you remember back to when I originally installed a 500 gig SSD in the Mac Pro, it's a long story how that all played out, but I only screwed in the SSD with two screws because A, you can't access the other screws under this, and B, it's an SSD, it doesn't really, I mean, as much as it would be nice to have the extra support, it's not really that necessary. So old SSD gets popped out. I should probably erase that. I'll do that some other time. Uh, new SSD goes on like so and gets screwed in. So let me just get a better view on that off camera quickly so I can this. Come on, come on, Mr. Screw. There we go. 
You can see why I use the larger screwdriver because the screws I'm using here are kind of stripped to heck, so there's no real easy way to use a screwdriver, a small screwdriver anymore. So there we go. And let me just pop that in the Mac Pro, fire it up. Come on, camera. You can focus. So I cloned the recovery partition as well. So that's pretty cool. Very good. Any second now. So yeah, you can see, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get info right there. There we go. So the SSD upgrade was all good. So I am going to quickly drag those volumes over there, clean up desktop so everything is nice and in line. And I'm going to delete Herbert because that is an old clip. I don't need any more. Goodbye, Herbert. See you later. And yeah, so Mac Pro SSD upgrade was successful. So next, I'm going to remove some one terabyte drives from various different enclosures. So first drive, this is the drive that my dad gave me with his MacBook Pro. This is one of the one terabytes and I've already opened it to see what's inside. But you can see they have there are these little clips. It says backup for Mac for personal MacBook Pro because he used to have one for work as well, and then he stopped using that one. So it's a lossy, durable drive. Comes with this little foam thing that is squishy and fun to play with, and yeah, hard drive. So just gonna pull that off the pull these connectors off the drive and remove these foam things and there we go one terabyte drive right there that needs to be erased uh, so I'll just stack that in my stack of drives that should be erased along with the old SSD and I basically have a firewire and USB hard drive dock uh, so I don't know what I'll use that for but I can just pop like one uh, two and a half inch drives onto that and transfer data and the Mac Pro just started back up from its recent optical drive reinstallation. So I'll just pop that aside. And now for this drive. This is a large drive. It's my one terabyte WD MyBook. And this drive is uh, what I used to use for server backups. So I am just going to do the UXW bill method here. and stick a flathead screwdriver into it so like this it's gonna kind of go along the drive pop the outer casing off I can get this 
screwdriver under there. So, there we go. And just a few more little tabs, and I have to take it off. But yeah, so there's a, a there's a one terabyte drive in this hard drive, obviously. And that is for, I'm going to be using both of these one terabytes in an upcoming project. Um, as I'm sure you know, my current file server has a terabyte uh, RAID 0 array. So, come on. Come on. Almost. Almost got it. Yeah, but it has a, my server has a one terabyte grade zero array in it, and that should give you a hint as to what I'm doing with these drives. Quite an exciting thing, I think. If you go back to my previous video, that'll also give you a hint. Actually, no, it really won't, but it says some things, but in here, there's our drive. Simple as. Um, I will just set that casing right there, and here we go. So, uh, let me see how this works. So I guess this pulls out, that's just a light bar from what I can see, and press this out, and it's stuck in there somewhere. So, I'll use these, these small rubber thingies. I guess I could remove those. And Hold on. There we go. So, looks like the drive is just screwed in with two screws. Let me grab my screwdriver. This is one of those ratcheting kinds. I love these things. There you go. And two more screws. These probably go into the other side of the drive. Actually, no, they're not long enough, so I'll just pull that off. And here's the driver board for it, so that's pretty cool. And then two more screws. So there we go. And there's our one terabyte drive. So. Uh, I'm going to be using that as an external hard drive, or an internal hard drive, in the new, uh, in the project I'm going to be doing. That should theoretically be the next video, if not um, one of the next ones. I just have to, it's another donation computer, so that's always good. And I'm just going to kind of slide the old board into place and I think I'm going to use this as a three and a half inch drive enclosure or a three and a half inch drive uh, like toaster as it's my natural color calls them not sure what the real term is for them and if it's not toaster but you can see there I can just take a drive and like slot it in like like that and there you go so, um, yeah, all that is removed. I don't know what the next thing I have to do is. There's something else. I, uh, what else is there to do? Um, I'll find something.